For the past several years, Norwegian Cruise Line has had only two alcoholic drink packages. The most inclusive of these packages was known as the Ultimate Beverage Package. Well, starting this year, the Cruise Line revamped its offerings, adding the additional Premium Plus Beverage Package. What is this new drink package, and how does it impact cruisers? OmDB from EatSleepCruise.com and I explain everything you need to know about Norwegian Cruise Line's Premium Plus Beverage Package. So to quickly review the basics, the Cruise Line's Premium Beverage Package, which was formerly known as the Ultimate Beverage Package, is now the second tier offering. The line still has the Caps and Corks program, which includes a limited selection of beer and wine. The new Premium Beverage Package, which starts at $99 a day plus service charge, cruisers can choose from essentially all beers and a more extensive selection of wines by the glass. Along with the beer and wine selections, this package entitles cruisers to mixed drinks and signature cocktails priced up to $15 a drink. For the most part, this includes all of the selections on the standard menu, as well as many of the specialty drinks at venues like the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar, the Onboard Whiskey Bars, as well as Margaritaville. While many of these aspects remain the same, the package has become more restrictive when it comes to brands that are considered super premium. With the premium beverage package on Norwegian Cruise Line, cruisers can choose from a predetermined list of spirits and brands. Here is a list of what is currently covered in the premium beverage package right from Norwegian Cruise Line's website. A quick review of the inclusions, you'll notice many familiar brands, such as Bacardi, Tito's Handmade, Kettle One, Beef Eater, and other similar brands. One limitation of the former Ultimate Beverage Package was that it did not include other non-alcoholic premium beverages like many comparable cruise lines. While the Premium Plus Beverage Package, which now starts at $128 per person, includes a variety of these upgraded selections. Among the new additions are specialty coffees at the Onboard Cafe and the main dining room. This new plan also includes sparkling and still bottled water. This was always a sticking point for us as almost all cruise lines offer bottled water with their packages. So it's good to see that the Premium Plus has this as an inclusion. Finally, the new package includes sports drinks and energy drinks. Things like vitamin water and Powerade are nice to have after a long night in the social or a long day in the sun at Spice H2O. The other major difference between the previous plan and the new plus package is the inclusion of super premium brands. Again, here is a list of the brands and spirits that are now part of this package straight from Norwegian Cruise Line. Brands like Patron and Woodford Reserve are now designated as super premium and only covered in this package. Another upgrade to this plan is the availability of select bottles of wine at dinner. This is something you almost never see included in a cruise ship drink package. The package also includes a 40% discount on all other bottles of wine, whereas the premium beverage package has only a 20% discount on bottles of wine. So the question becomes, does it make sense to upgrade your beverage package? For the most part, Norwegian Cruise Line is usually running a promotion that includes a free beverage package. The package you receive is the premium beverage package. However, you still need to pay the 20% service charge. So this free perk actually costs you $19.80 a day. For almost all cruisers, even those who don't drink that much, we recommend opting for this perk with the line's free at sea promotion. Where it becomes more tricky is deciding whether to upgrade the plan. Currently, you can only upgrade to the Premium Plus Beverage Package once on board the ship. Remember, when upgrading, you need to pay the difference of the package plus 20% charge of that difference. So, you'll be paying $29, which is a difference of $128 minus $99, the retail cost of these plans, and an additional 20% on that difference. The total is $34.80 a person per day to upgrade. When looking at the costs, most specialty coffees 
and one liter bottles of water are priced around $5 each. So it really comes down to those who have distinct alcoholic preferences, as these differences in preferred spirits could quickly add up. While NCL is still determining the pricing of these a la carte options, several menus we've seen online have seen the pricing for super premium beverages to range from $17.95 to $29.95 a shot. So you could be paying the difference of anywhere from $3.50 to over $15 for your preferred spirit with the premium drink package. With this new plan, it's clear that Norwegian Cruise Line is trying to entice cruisers to upgrade the packages that are given away for free. The problem with this logic is that the pricing structure for the two premium drink packages is way overpriced when compared to other cruise lines. Both Celebrity Cruises and Royal Caribbean offer premium drink packages that are about half the cost. Carnival Cruise Line also offers a drink package that's $51.95 a day. All of these above mentioned packages have essentially the same inclusions as Norwegian's Premium Plus package for half the price. It appears that instead of getting rid of the free at sea program, Norwegian has simply changed its pricing structure. So if you want a drink package comparable to the other brand's premium drink package, you now have to pay the $19.80 gratuity on the free package plus $34.80 a day to upgrade. That's a total of $54.60 to get a drink package that is comparable to other major lines. We love to sail Norwegian Cruise Line because of its ships, amenities, dining, and entertainment. Sure, the included value of the drink package has always been a nice perk the last couple of years. When comparing prices, NCL has always been a better value when you examine these different promotions. Overall, it's disappointing to see the brand roll out these new drink packages that are obviously overpriced when compared to rival cruise lines. The premium beverage package has always been a bit of a stretch if you're paying for it outright. So it'll be interesting to see how many cruisers decide to upgrade to the premium plus beverage package to get the additional inclusions. At the current prices, it's certainly not worth it for us to upgrade even though we do regularly drink specialty coffees and get the occasional bottle of water while on a cruise. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment below to let us know if you'll be upgrading to the new Norwegian Cruise Line Premium Plus Beverage Package. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com and this has been everything you need to know about Norwegian Cruise Line's Premium Plus Beverage Package. If you enjoyed this video, We'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. That way you get updated whenever we put out brand new videos. You can also find us all over social media at Eat Sleep Cruise. And thanks again for watching.